Hey guys! Welcome to another vlog. So today, I'm stuck here at home kasi nag-start na yung community quarantine here in Metro Manila. So I figured I'd order some food na lang. So, here we have some Paris Tiro. Nagpalala move na lang ako from there. Timog branch. So, nag-order ako ng two meals. Here we have yung Paris tendon nila. And then, the other one is yung classic Paris. So, the classic Paris is 160 pesos. And then, yung um, Paris tendon is 165. 5 peso difference lang sila, guys. I will save this one for Timo. And then, I will eat the classic Paris. So today, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the whole COVID-19 situation. I'm in no way an expert. I just wanted to maybe share some tips on how one can avoid getting sick or getting infected. So, open na natin. Yan. So, ito yung itsura niya. Meron siyang garlic rice. And then, yung Paris mismo, naka-plastic here with calamansi and chili on the side. I wanted to share some tips lang siguro on how we can prevent it or lessen the chances of actually getting COVID-19. Naka community quarantine na tayo so people are discouraged from going out but alam ko naman na hindi, minsan hindi talaga siya maiwasan. Kailangan talaga lumabas. So magsashare na lang ako ng tips on how to lessen the chances of getting COVID-19. So, I wrote all those tips down on my phone kasi baka may makalimutan ako. Ayan, so, I'll just put this here sa side. So, they sent over tissue and, and utensils pero hindi ko nagagamitin since nandito lang naman ako sa bahay. So, itatago ko na lang muna yung plastic for when talaga kailangan ko siyang gamitin. But, for now, we'll use my utensils dito sa bahay. Chinin. Stay safe, stay indoors. That's my first tip. Ang bahay natin ang pinaka-safe na place in my opinion. Kasi yung interactions mo is limited to the people inside the house. So kung lahat kayo hindi lalabas, wala magkakasakit. It's that simple. So tip number two is to sanitize your space. I encourage everyone to buy disinfectants. Ako ay personally use Lysol. Mahilig ako mag-spray ng mga door handles, yung mga cabinet doors, mga faucets, yat lahat sinispray ko yan on a regular basis to ensure na less bacteria around the house. So tip number three is to change clothes when you get home. Magpalit agad kayo ng damit pagdating nyo sa bahay kasi hindi natin alam kung anong klaseng bacteria yung dumidikit sa damit natin. Kung kaya, maligo kayo agad, pero baka mapasma kayo. Change clothes, tapos ang sabi nila, ibabad daw yung maduming damit sa detergent para hindi na kumalat yung germs. Para mamatay na siya agad. Tip number four, we should all be doing this, at actually dapat dati pa natin to lahat kinagawa, is to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Ang sabi nila, kantahin mo daw yung happy birthday song, tapos yun na daw is the 20 seconds that you need to wash your hand. Tapos, make sure na you washed your entire hand as in all the areas. Kasi usually, pag hukas tayo ng kamay, parang ganyan lang. Tapos na. Pero dapat we wash even yung mga gitna ng mga fingers natin, even this side, even the nails, we should be washing it. Ganyan. So, yun. Kung gusto nyong maghugas, guys, may at maya, wala namang masama doon, mas sure pa nga yun. To prevent spreading germs. So, tip number five is to avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Sobrang nahirapan ako dito kasi mahilig akong magkamot ng mata at saka ng ilong pag makatay or matching ka, di ba? Parang gusto mong magganyan. So, kung kaya, as much as possible, iwasan yung gawin yan. Kung hindi nyo talaga maiwasan, mag-alcohol muna kayo. So, that's our next step is to bring alcohol wherever you go. So, ako meron akong maliit na alcohol na ganyan. I put in my bag tapos nire-refill ko na lang siya palagi para hindi ako bilhin ng bilhin. Kasi hindi natin maiwasan maghawak ng mga bagay-bagay pag lumalabas tayo. Like, pipindot tayo ng elevator buttons, hawak tayo ng grocery carts. Hindi natin alam anong klaseng germs na nakadikit sa mga yan. So, actually, after pumindot, mag-alcohol ka na. So, as much as possible, bring alcohol or better yet, nagdala kayo ng sabon, put it in a Ziploc or whatever plastic, tapos isuksok nyo lang siya sa bag nyo. If you guys can buy something like this, so dito ko nilalagay yung sabon ko when I travel. So, this is how it looks like inside. Medyo nasisira na nga siya. But, ito, meron akong dalawang 
soap bars here. So, kung kaya niya, magtala kayo ng ganito kasi mas okay pa rin ang sabon kaysa sa alcohol. So, there. So, next step is huwag kayo mag-hoard. Huwag kayo magpa-panic buying kasi the more you buy, that's less for other people. And oo nga, marami ka mang alcohol at home but this doesn't mean na hindi ka magkakasakit. Ang COVID-19 kasi, it takes two weeks para malaman mo kung meron ka ang sakit. Labas ka ng labas, dami mo pinupuntahan, ang dami mo na-encounter na tao, so pwede ka pa rin talagang magkasakit. So, that is very important. Huwag kayong mag-hoard. Leave some for other people, for children. Iwan kayo for the doctors, for the nurses, for the elderly. And please, 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 huwag kayo bibili ng alcohol para lang ibenta ng mahal. As in, meron ako mga nakikita on Facebook na nag-resell ng alcohol for like isang bote is what 600 700 pesos and normally magkano lang naman talaga yon so wag kayong bibili sa mga ganon do not support these people magkakaroon naman ng stocks ang mga stores so try niyo na lang antayin or like banghingi mo na kayo makipag-share mo na kayo sa mga people na you know na marami na mga stock basta do not support these resellers sa my eyes next step if you're not feeling well, wag na kayo lumabas. Kahit sipon lang yan, or bo, masakit katawan nyo. These are some of the symptoms ng COVID-19. So, kung kaya nyo, wag na talaga kayo lumabas. Or magmask kayo. Kasi it takes two weeks nga para malaman kung meron kang sakit. So, sa two weeks na yan, kung labas ka na labas, tapos may buka, may sipon ka, whatever, posible kang makahawa ng maraming tao without even knowing it. So, kawawa naman yung ibang tao, ba? So, kung medyo alanganin na yung pakiramdam mo, huwag na kayong lumabas. Another important tip is to take your vitamins. This is the time to talagang take your vitamins kahit yung mga, like my dad, medyo matigas ulo niya pagdating sa vitamins, ayaw niya. So, dapat pilitin natin yung mga older people to take the vitamins kasi syempre gusto natin healthy lang tayong lahat, ba? So, Please do take your vitamins. Very important yan. Huwag na natin i-risk ang mga buhay natin at mga buhay ng mga tao na sa paligid natin. If you guys have to go out social distancing, huwag kayo pupunta in crowded places. So, dapat ngayon wala ng crowded places bilang may social distancing na nga. So, yesterday, I was in Mercury Drugstore. Tapos, may lines na. So, doon ka tatayo para hindi ka masyado nakadikit sa person in front. So, ganun na rin dapat in public places, even in jeepneys, mga UV, mga buses. So, in-implement na siya. So, there. Another important thing, huwag muna kayong mag-hug or mag ng mga taong nasa paligid nyo. I know it's something na sanay tayong gawin to hug and to beso and to appear and whatever shake hands. Iwas muna tayo sa ganon. I wouldn't recommend mag-elbow. Elbow bumps muna ngayon. Kasi ang, ang elbow nyo hindi naman kayang tumawa sa mukha. So, okay lang if you like makipag-elbow bumps na lang kayo with other people or mag-wave na lang. Kaway-kaway na lang tayo muna, guys. <laughs> so, last but not the least is to always cover your nose and mouth when you sneeze or you cough. Better yet, kung meron kayong tissue, sa tissue nyo siya anuhin, as much as possible, huwag nyo gamitin yung kamay nyo. Kasi pag, ah, umaching kayo dyan, or like, umubo kayo dyan, tapos sumawa kayo na ibang bagay, di, nakahawa din kayo, di ba? Kung kaya nyo, kuha kayo ng tissue, cover. So, yun, important din yun to bring tissue para hindi kumalat ang germs. So, Get the tissue, you cover your mouth or your nose with it. Or kung, kung talagang wala kayo, you use your shirt. So, ganun. <coughs> or dyan kayo umaching. Minsan nga, ibang tao, they do this. Sometimes, I do this. Pag talagang, ah, nalabas na siya. Dito na. <coughs> so, at least sarili mo lang. Diba? You're not spreading the germs. So, I guess that's it for now. Sana you guys learned a thing or two. Guys, if there's something, meron kayong tips na gustong i-share, please let me know in the comment section. And I'll take note of them. Kasi, yun nga, as I said earlier, hindi naman ako expert. And possibly meron pa rin ako makalimutan. So, please, please feel free to comment them below. Kung ano mang tips, any tip will help. So, makakatulong din yun. Hindi lang sa akin, pati sa ibang tao. So, oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention earlier, yung ginagamit palang beef nila for the class, for their Paris is Angus beef. So, not bad na for 160 pesos, diba? Kakain na muna ako. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Bye!